Welcome to Free Media. I'm Amber Duke. And I'm Robbie Suave. Well, Kamala Harris made the internet rounds after she dropped the F-bomb this week. Let's watch. We have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open. Sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that door down. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna make t-shirts with that saying kick the f door down usa today seemed to heap praise on the vice president for the cringeworthy moment casually dropping an f-bomb during a speech check vice president kamala harris knows how to get the crowd going all right amber when i first saw that she had said you know the, the context of the remark was kick the uh, effing door down. I assumed maybe those were her instructions to police officers searching for <laughs> truant children, uh, given her past history as someone very enthusiastic from a prosecutor's side about that. But I guess that was supposed to be just affirming remarks for, the, for Asian and Pacific Islander people seeking equal representation in society in a, what, what, what violent imagery to use for those remarks? Yeah, I guess it was supposed to be sort of a glass ceiling-esque metaphor. Mm. I have to admit, I didn't find the moment as cringe as some other people did. Um, I mean, the F-bomb was sort of unnecessary and trying too hard. But in general, compared to most of her public comments, this felt like one of the more authentic moments from Kamala Harris, even if I sort of disagreed with the message. She actually seemed to like really mean what she was saying. When Kamala Harris stops being Kamala Harris and starts being real, that was what happened there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, she's such a, uh, she, she struggles really to relate to anyone, it seems, you know, in the Democratic um, coalition. She's never really had a base of support that is all hers, her kind of pivot, to a to a you know um, um, uh, Black Lives Matter criminal justice reform all that stuff seemed totally inauthentic and insincere actually contrasting with the role she played um, and that we've covered it reason a lot in terms of being a a prosecutor's prosecutor and a, and a cop and all of those things actually a lot of policies we disagreed with her on the pivot was insincere and now she's somewhere in between that and frankly isn't even active on those issues to the extent she's active on any issues she was what charged with fixing the border actually had nothing to do with there and uh, for a while at least always polled worse than joe biden um, I think that might have switched in the last couple of months. I'm not sure where it is right now. Um, she's certainly not substantially more popular than him. They might be both kind of similarly unpopular. She was supposed to pass the federalization of voting rights, the mm. big Democratic boondoggle, which obviously didn't get anywhere in Congress. That was her other big task that Biden gave her. Um, another failure, unfortunately, for her. But um, I guess the reason that I find this comment actually to be in keeping with what she actually believes is when you look at her career history, it really is a case of people slamming doors in her face because, not because of her skin color or whatever, but because she's unqualified for whatever position she's applying for. And then she's like, no, I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm gonna be completely unethical in how I go about it, right? So when she first became DA in, uh, in San Francisco, I believe it was, she had worked under the current DA that was there and had said publicly many times that she would never run against her boss. And there were some complaints that came out of the office of staffers complaining that he was like a tough boss or whatever. And she used that as fuel to then do exactly what she promised she never would and ran against him and ended up winning mm -hmm. and kneecapping this guy who had really given her her first big job in the prosecutorial space. Then she was able to leverage that with her relationship with Willie Brown into becoming Attorney General of California. And then despite failing miserably in the Democratic primary, got the DNC for whatever reason, I guess because of these boxes that she checked to back her for being the VP candidate with Joe Biden. So she really does have a long history of failing up, which in some ways is kind of like kicking that effing door down. <laughs> and now she's gonna be set up to be a potential successor to Joe Biden, uh, you know, whether this is Joe Biden's last term or whether he ends up getting another one. Um, she will have, I think, a lot of institutional weight behind her in terms of the Democratic Party. There's going to be a, a tremendous um, uh, uh, desire to say it's, it's her turn now, I think, even though I, 
doesn't seem to me like the actual rank and file voters uh, like like love her so much. So it's gonna. I think it's going to end up being an interesting showdown between her and other potential inheritors of the Biden mantle, like um, uh, like blanking Gavin on his name, Newsom. Gavin Newsom, uh, Gretchen Whitmer, Klobuchar, yeah. Buttigieg, some of the uh, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Bernie Sanders, I guess Ro maybe. Rokana, maybe. Since since, na since uh, age is no factor to <laughs> right. running for president or staying in power way, forever. He's running for re-election in the yeah. Senate. He will literally be, I think, 90 years old at yeah. the end of his next term if he makes it that long. It's outrageous. It's outrageous, but he does... He's not, but he seems and sounds younger than Joe Biden. No, I, I do agree with that. He actually does. And, I don't agree with him <laughs> at all. I don't support his policies. I probably support his policies, not even probably, I certainly support his policies, even less than I support Joe Biden's policies. And yet he has a youthful vigor about him. I know, even though, didn't he have a Biden. heart attack on the campaign trail in 2020 and he still seems younger than yeah. Joe Biden? It's truly- a, People age differently. It's kind of remarkable. People age differently. Some I know. people are still- Commanding, they still appear to have it, 80s, 90s, and some people don't. And uh, unfortunately, we can we can see that as the American electorate. One last point on Kamala, because the DNC did a focus group recently about what voters thought of her. And one of the consistent threads, by the way, was that they really disliked her laugh because mm. it seemed fake. And I think that kind of tells you everything you need to know. Mm. All right, more free media after this.